the alarm and take this seriously because I just found out that Jessica Petway just passed away, the beauty and fashion influencer, yeah. So in these screenshots, Jessica details some of her journey with being um, misdiagnosed um, and then ultimately being diagnosed with the cancer. And you can, of course, pause to read them, but um, I had to sit with this for a minute to figure out how I could best be of service um, in light of this. So heartbreaking. This is devastating news. We have lost one of our beautiful sisters, YouTube sensation Jessica Petway. She shared her horrific experience with the healthcare system after being misdiagnosed with fibroids last year to find out this year she really had stage three cervical cancer. Um, I just found out she passed away from cervical cancer and I am very concerned about the black community's diagnosis of prostate, cervical and colon cancer with young people. I'm talking 35 and under like this is getting insane. And I mean, it's not just the black community because I've been actually on a rabbit hole for months about cervical and colon cancer and how people are finding out that they have stage three and stage four and they are like in their mid 20s, early 30s. And it is so concerning. And I have been so like paranoid because insurances aren't covering it before you're 45. But the thing that's really blown my mind about this particular story is that Jessica was actually misdiagnosed. They told her she had fibroids when she in fact had a mass from cervical cancer. And as someone who was experiencing a lot of pelvic pain and, and pressure last early January, um, and I found out I had three fibroids, but this year during my pelvic exam, they refused to follow up about it. It's just concerning because it's like, bro, y'all don't take my health seriously. But it's like, when you have a lot of things going down, down there, it is concerning and it should be concerning. There are just too many people getting diagnosed with ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer, fallopian tube cancer. Between the misdiagnosis and insurances not covering us getting screenings, we are literally doomed. And we are set up to die. So what do we do? Hmm? So here's what I want you all to know. That um, a medical error is actually the number three cause of death in the United States up until the occurrence of C-19. Uh, it was number three cause of death in the United States. Um, and still is, depending on what source you reference today. And so considering that, um, it is not hard to understand, unfortunately, how this sister was misdiagnosed all this time. The second thing that I want you all to know is that um, all disease, but especially fibroids and uh, most types of cancers, can be healed holistically. If you are able to separate yourself from the things that are creating the disease conditions, uh, you can heal. And again, this is not um, the job of allopathic medicine. This is the job of ancient holistic medicine. This is the result of aligning yourself with nature and things that are actually compatible with your body system instead of things that are not, that are uh, foundational in the uh, creation of disease. So I am going to link um, a video. There's a doctor who did another video about uh, her reaction to our dear sister's uh, misdiagnosis and just some helpful tips on how to know if your cycle is normal and things like that. So I'm going to link that in here because I do believe the allopathic medicine community, community does serve a purpose. So head on over to her channel and watch the full video, especially if you're having questions or concerns about anything going on with your cycle. Um, there's some real helpful information in there from the allopathic standpoint. Um, generally, they're good for diagnosis, but in this case, that can't even be the, the uh, truth. Um, certain things they're successful at treating, but if you really want to heal, you will uh, broaden your um, medical opinion sources and definitely give holistic uh, the holistic path a, a very close look in a try because um, this is where the healing is I assure you whether we're talking about a medical condition or your hair um, I also have put included like a few of the known ingredients that 
uh, are linked to cancer that are uh, prominent in a lot of our hair care and styling products. On these slides, I've highlighted a few of the ingredients in my ebook that are known to cause cancer. Unfortunately, there are more. And so I want to be clear here, and I want to make sure you guys understand exactly what I'm saying. I'm not saying that hair products alone cause this sister's condition or um, can cause or are the sole cause of cancers. What I am saying is that there are ingredients in a lot of these hair products that are known to be carcinogens. And if you consider that not only are these things in the hair products, they are in the makeup they are in the body products, they are in the processed foodstuffs, um, they are in synthetic fragrance, they are all around us. And um, you, the potential to overload your body system with these toxins is high. And when you come to know uh, what causes a fibroid, what causes a cancer, what causes um, all these different types of preventable disease, you understand very quickly that eliminating as many of the toxins as possible from your daily life increases um, your chances of avoiding development of disease and living a long, healthy life. So let's be really clear on that, okay? So for the hair care, I got y'all. Um, my ebook is pretty comprehensive when it comes to that end of things. Now, the fibroids, I am currently working on a guide to uh, give you all information on why they develop and how to heal them naturally. And that one I'll be offering for free because we need it. There's too many of us out here uh, getting hysterectomies and having heavy periods and even having situations where the fibroids turn into, they're no longer benign and they turn malignant and actually transform into a cancer. So these things are, again, preventable and they're also reversible with a sufficient treatment. And so holistic treatment. So, but we, but you have to be able to give up the things that are creating the disease condition in the body. Giving up the things or uh, putting some space between you and uh, all the sources of things that create uh, disease conditions in the body allows the body to uh, go into its normal detoxification process. Like the body is a detoxification machine and it does it best when it is given fuel that helps the cells regenerate, the tissues regenerate, um, and that create overall health in the body. And unfortunately, um, the standard American diet and a lot of things that we eat, and again, we've already talked about a lot of the harmful ingredients in the products are overloading our body systems uh, with toxins faster than the body can eliminate and detox. And uh, this is a very, very, very simple way of explaining why disease develops in the body. So if you can remove those things from your life and switch them out for the things that create health and healing, you'll heal. So on a personal note, I had my own fibroid scare several years ago and um, had to go into emergency because I was having such lower uh, pelvic pain that it just was unbearable, like for the first time in my entire cycle. Now, prior to that, I had been having like heavy periods and I, I just accepted that it's normal. I just, you know, it had been going on for quite some time. So I'm like, okay, you know, five, seven days, uh, but most of the days heavy, uh, sometimes clots, sometimes not, but um, I had been existing that way and been an, an anemic because that is one of the side effects of losing so much blood every month is that you develop anemia, which makes your iron low, which is a whole another host of problems. But anyway, several years ago, I had my own fibroid situation and um, the doctor told me, you know, what it was, showed me where they were, and then uh, suggested a follow-up treatment plan for me. Well, me being who I am, 
knowing what I know and knowing what I was not doing uh, at that time in my life. Um, I was way off of my holistic path. Uh, so please know that I understand how challenging it could be to make the switch to um, a holistic lifestyle from the standard lifestyle where we're eating, you know, the meat, the dairy, the, the you know, the fried foods, the processed foods, like all these things. Um, I, like I said, I've been on and off the path for about 18 years where I was way off the path at that time in my life and the fibroids popped up. And so it was like, you know what? Yeah, this should not be surprising to you. And so I went home and I decided that I was just going to take care of it myself. And so through uh, a all whole food plant diet, raw, and, and the incorporation of herb for about a month, um, I was able to go ahead and heal my fibroid situation. And so now my periods are very, very light. Uh, they are moderate for two days and then like spotting a day or two before and after and they're gone no pain um that persistent little uh pooch in the lower abdomen that i thought was fat uh apparently was uh concealing some fibroids that's gone and um it is you know everybody's journey is going to be different because you know some of us have the fibroids are a different size um our body systems process things a little differently we're on medications what have you but um that general path is going to work for majority of us it's just a matter of how long but it took me a month like next cycle i was good and um i said you know never again never again am i getting off the path because um my health is too important to me it's just not worth it so i knew better i just wasn't doing better at the time so for those of you who want to gain access to the, my free guide to uh, healing whole fibroids naturally, I'm going to leave my email in the description so that you can just email me um, and I will be able to deliver it to you when the guide is ready. Um, those of you who have had success uh, healing or managing um, health conditions the holistic and natural way, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I think it's so important for us to share those stories because there's just a lot of us who simply don't know that it's possible and are stuck in the allopathic cycle, never healing, you know, never ending treatment. And so the more we share and get the word out, the more others know that it's possible for them and are willing to give it a try. Um, so I'd love to hear from y'all if y'all have any thing that you want to share on that and then of course with the ebook i'll um, have information on how to purchase that as well so i hope you all have found uh, this video helpful um as sad as the topic may be i want us all to send some love out into the universe out into the atmosphere to Miss Petway's family and everyone who knew and loved her. Uh, this is a huge loss, uh, not only for her family, but you know, the natural hair community, the beauty influencer community. It was a joy to see her face come across my screen on whatever social platform I happened to be on at the time. And um, she will be deeply missed and um, may her memory live on in all of us and be a an alarm a reminder to if something is going on with you get a first second third opinion or you know it's your life so whatever path you choose is the right one for you so if if giving it over to god um and accepting what may come feels right for you you do that also but we're sending love we're sending peace we're sending prayers and we are sending blessings